Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you have a great, a wonderful day. And we're going to be talking about a psychopathic woman that thinks that um, men and women are uh, that women are being attacked in gaming. That we can't be sexist or whatever or what have you. And I'm going to go on a huge rant here, and this is mostly going to be a rant video because I think that you ladies need to start understanding here on what reality that you're coming from, why you keep on entering every single men's space imaginable, and then for some unknown god reason, you destroy or ruin it or demand things that is just not for you. It's complete insanity that you guys, every time you enter a men's space, or force your way into the men's space, that you start demanding things. And I'm going to start breaking it down here a little bit here, so we're going to kind of, you know, show what we mean. So first off, we're going to show the 21 second clip where she's pretty much saying, Oh, well, I don't want a straight white male. Yeah, that's right. No, it's over, Ina. It's over. Like, if, if I were to have a boy, we better pray to God that he's gay. We better start indoctrinating him day one. We have to either make him trans or make him gay. We are not having a cisgender straight son. So this person here would immediately go and, you know, uh, what, what's the word? Oh, radicalize the kid. We will immediately, uh, um, indoctrinate the kid that by her own words that's what she said and i don't know what she would do if the kid turned out to be straight because you know it sounds like she may actually go and kill a child don't know it's alleged don't know have no idea she didn't say this but she doesn't want a actual straight kid she doesn't want one a, a boy it sounds like the girl would be safer with her than it would be the boy but I digress. This type of vile ritual of a person is disgusting, and we're gonna go over this other video here because I think I think people need to start understanding what we're talking about because the insanity is real with this individual here. It, the insanity is real, and we're gonna go over over this. She wouldn't last ten minutes in a cod lobby. Is not, nor has it ever been, a valid excuse for men to act like pieces of human garbage in gaming. I shouldn't have to play a game where all I say is hi. And the whole game is thrown, and I'm in hell for the next 40 minutes because men are being emotional about it. No, because men are competitive. By the way, what made you go into our games in the first place? Because, again, it seems, as, we've been, as I've been saying, you guys go into our, into our space, our gaming space, which we've been playing since the 80s, 90s, 10th and the thousands, etc., and you only enter it when it was not the social norm, when it was not a thing for you guys to enter because it was uh, pretty much a society, society dogma. Nobody hated it. Nobody liked gaming. It was a stigma to gaming. People hated us for gaming. And it wasn't until, I want to say, maybe 2010, 2012, when gaming became more prevalent, became more social allow socially allowed and praised upon, is when you ladies start coming into our space. And then for some other reason, when you ladies come into our space... You start demanding things. That is not normal, and that's not how the old COD days were, because I promise you, as a man, you have never had somebody throw on the basis of your gender. That doesn't happen. You can say it happens. You're lying. I'm sorry. I don't No! Oh, it doesn't happen, eh? Oh! <laughs> Sweet lady child, here's a clip of, uh, the COD debauchery, and let me tell you, it's quite interesting. Man, I'm above you. Shut you your mouth. You went 23. <laughs> you like getting raped? Is that what you're talking about? <laughs> yeah, I deep throated your mom. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Okay, you said you sound, I sounded like I deep throated a cow, and then I said I deep throated your mom, so your mom's a cow. Yeah. So we're lying when when about getting the the, the whole grape thing, right? Uh, we're lying about the 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 fact that you know uh, the, 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 your mom comments and stuff like that, right? We, we pioneered your mom comments, lady. We pioneered them. We created your mom comments. The jokes that you that are currently today that you people use that you women use that the younger we youth used back to us ninety years us two thousanders us from the Call of Duty lobbies yeah we pioneered these words that you people use nowadays 
We created them. Step the hell back. And I don't understand what you people are even talking about because it, it, it's a complete insanity. It's like, it's like you completely disregard this. You completely disregard on what actually happens and you're too stupid to understand this. I don't know why that's such a common thing in the comments of my videos. You guys want to be oppressed so bad that you'll look at a man calling me a telling me he's going to tell me to get back in the kitchen and say it's not a woman thing and say that that happens to you too. It doesn't. There's a reason that his... It does, as I just showed you. Or do you want me to show that one again? Actually, in fact, let me show it to you one more time. Just just to nail it in the point here. Man, I'm above you. Shut you your mouth. You're 23. <laughs> you like getting raped? Is that what you're talking about? So again, I'm not quite sure what you're talking about. By the way, this is just me skimming through the Agile Call of Duty lobbies. I, there's multiple others, and you can go onto YouTube, find them, and you'll find a whole bunch more of these very similar comments. I don't understand what you're talking about. This, 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 this actually happened. Yes, it happens to men too. You're just dishonest, you're just a misandrist, you hate men, and you're making it quite obvious of what's going on here. Historically, male-dominated spaces are known for being toxic and unsafe. That goes for gaming, that goes for sports. Any male-dominated space is a bad one. That's not me being sexist. That is me saying there is an inherent issue with the way that you guys have your locker room talk that makes everybody else feel unsafe. No, it makes nobody feel unsafe except you put terrible women coming into our space and demanding change. It is only a problem when you women came into our space. That was the only problem. Let's go look at, let's go take a look at something, right? Uh, uh, look at this. See this? This is what we call the top streamer, top 10 streamers of Twitch. One streamer, one of the dump, top number two is Amaranth. She is a streamer that does OnlyFans. She does debauchery content. Now, I'm not saying she can't go and do that, but one of the top streamers that is, you know, that is here does debauchery level content. The only one that's beating her right now is Pokimane, which has the same type of mentality and brain capacity as you. So I don't even want to hear it from you disgusting deplorables, all right? That, that, that's, just, that's just it. And here's the thing. All women are not like you, by the way. They're not all the so there are a majority of women I don't think are like you. However, you come into the Twitch era, like such as people like you, with that low crop top, with you know, showing what you have, your assets, right? Your twin towers, your twin peaks, whatever have you. That constantly why I see this on the game on the on the Twitch site. And then on top of that as well. You ladies come into Twitch field, and what do you do? Instead of actually trying to compete and go and do normal Twitch stuff, you go make it into a pot slash porn site where Twitch has to go and obviously has to go into change the rules around what you women do or what you women do. It's not the men that did this. We are creating content. We are making games. We're making photo content. Some of us were making. Uh, uh, political stuff, which is that was mostly Hassan, but again, it was you women that came into our space, which we created, which was Twitch, which was streaming, which got big, thanks to us men that end up doing esports, competitive esports, where we grew Twitch that way. It wasn't that you women that came in here. When you, when you guys came into Twitch, it was already prosperous, done by men with competitive esports, and when you guys came in, you demanded change. And you Ruined that platform for the most part. It's pretty much destroyed thanks to you guys. Just, just f f completely honest. I don't know how you could possibly find it fun to make other people feel unsafe. No woman is asking men to make gaming a safe space with sunshine and rainbows and everything, but could you please be f normal? Yes, you are. What are you doing right now? You're demanding us to change on what we do in our daily lives. Yes, that is what you are doing. You are actively demanding change. That is what you want. I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about here. Because I want to be able to enjoy playing the game without my life being threatened, without my body being threatened, because I'm existing as a woman. And men are the before this has already happened to men too it happens to men the toxicity does not end with you lady it ends with everyone everybody experiences it not just you one's making it unsafe and i do not care if you feel targeted by me saying men 
or if you feel attacked by me saying men, you are part of the problem. If you feel attacked by that, you're part of the problem. If you say just mute them, you're part of the problem. If you sit there and let them say that to me and you don't intervene, you are part of the problem. Because I have a lot of male friends, normal male friends, who don't say slurs and don't threaten people and just play like normal. I understand it, it's not all men. But if you are not one of the men doing this, it is entirely on you to help stop the men who are. If you don't understand that and you don't understand power imbalances and gender hierarchy, it's not my place to teach you. I'm not your mother, I'm not your teacher. Close the game for five minutes and educate yourself, but stop. Oh, educate yourself because you're the one that's entering our space. You know what happens when I see a tweak, when I hear a tweaker, or I hear a kid, or something that comes into my, that comes to the channel, or somebody blaring rap music onto their mics. You know what I do? I take that feature that's called the mute button and I mute them. When somebody is raging or being stupid, I mute them. I have also raged at people. We are coming into a competitive space, especially games like Overwatch, Valorant, League of Legends. It's like I, I, League of Legends is like king of the of the toxic community here. Like they're they're number one kings, and that's all it. What I'm going to show you now is also some videos or some clips here of our beloved Modern Warfare 2 lobbies. More of them than you think. I live in China. You want to come to China and get your ass kicked? You want to come to America and get shot? Fuck you, you faggot. You know what I do? What 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 Oh, I know, I'm a fuck. What, what fuck you the fuck up, you? faggot? You tell me what you want to do. Tell me what the fuck you want to do. Tell me what the fuck you want to do. Huh? Tell me what the fuck you want to do. Tell me what the fuck you want to do. Tell me what the fuck you want to do. You fucking pussy. Pussy. Right. Yum, 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 yum. I eat dick all day. Yum, 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 yum. And again, these are just small samples of of a, like a two to ten minute video of this ongoing, right? Like this is this is was back in the day. Like I said, there's a reason why people say you wouldn't survive Modern Warfare 2 lobbies because the Modern Warfare 2 lobbies were horrible. Like I said, these are just brief things that I sh I can just show you or tell you, and, and like and that's just the reality. But gaming was a completely different world back then. A lot of people have become incredibly soft. And you wouldn't, again, lady, you wouldn't survive in those Modern Warfare 2 lobbies. Trust me, you wouldn't. You wouldn't survive in a League of Legends chat at all, or you would not survive at, in a old Halo 3 or Halo 2 lobby. You just wouldn't. Because the way the things we were was just like, the speech was used greatly in those lobbies. But again... This is the way we interacted. At the end of the day, we would just be friends and stuff like that or what have you. But, again, you people trying to demand things off from coming into our space and demanding things is just not the way to go. And if you're saying that you're the toxic person, let's go and review this real quick, alright? No, it's over, Ina. It's over. Like, if, if I were to have a boy, we better pray to God that he's gay. We better start indoctrinating him day one. We have to either make him trans or make him gay. We are not having a cisgender straight son. So the only person that I see here, honestly, the most toxic person in the room, the most toxic person that I'm seeing right now is you. You're the toxic person. Maybe you should go look at yourself and maybe stop your, your, your misandry against actual men Maybe you should better yourself. Maybe you should log off and look at yourself because you are part of the problem. You are an issue. It's just straight up. All right, guys, that's it for the video. Let's guys share. As always, take care, my friends. I'm disgusted by what I see in public. Even people closest to us can't be trusted. This algorithmic disease, the social media.